So let's reach into blackjacks here and I'll just grab my bug out bag and uh, excuse the mess. Uh, my garage does need some work, but here's my bug out bag right here. Always typically in my truck, ready to go, setting on top of my storage container here. So let's uh, grab the bag. We'll go upstairs and I'll show you what's in my typical bug out bag. So we'll uh, take my bug out bag and we'll lay it here on uh, on my dining room table. Let's uh, move all this other stuff out of the way. And we'll go through this bug out bag. So my uh, typical bug out bag, it can be equipped to uh, fit on my motorcycle. So on the back of my fat boy. Um, sometimes if it's a shorter trip, I need to bug out on my bike. I won't pack it as full as you'll see here. But this is my typical bug out bag and it is typically, again, always in my truck or uh, by my door if I need to jump on my bike and go. So let's open this up. So here it is sitting vertically. So uh, let's get it opened up here. I'm gonna lay it on its side. And then obviously I have a canteen on the side, typically be filled with water. So you'd have uh, some liquid there in the canteen, but uh, typically I have bottled water stored on my bike or in my truck anyway. So a lot of time I'll keep that, that empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach the uh, med kit and it is just Velcroed on here. So I've got the med kit off to the side. I just wanna show you the other side. Now on my particular bug out bag, you can uh, uh, clip just about anything on there. Uh, so I have a, a real quick little first aid kit um, that can easily go in your motorcycle glove box and then some hand sanitizers because uh, we know what we're living in currently in 2020. But let me open the top first here. This I usually have quick, um, I wanna have something to be quickly accessed here. So I have it on the top. So I have a headlamp. Those are always good. Just some uh, mink oil on a sponge for the um, boots. Another clip here, clip some things on, the, on, on my person. Uh, some charger cords, flashlight, and then a uh, rechargeable lamp as well. Lighter, of course, windproof camping lighter, multiple uh, spoon, fork, tool, knife. So for eating, if you're camping out, sunblock, multiple tool, it's compact. Usually that goes in my cut, my jacket. Uh, some breath mints, Swiss Army knife. It's always good. Earplugs for the shooting reins or shooting guns, mouthwash, uh, bottle opener. So just some uh, basic, easy access items there at the top. And now we go to my bottom layer, the front of my bug out. So here on the top, I have my uh, an outdoor blanket. Uh, that is a blanket, another flashlight. And then I have uh, some uh, personal cleaning wipes, pens. I have several protein bars, cliff bars in here. I like to pack several of those because you always need an ample amount of protein. And then behind here, another waterproof, tough writing pad. And of course, the New Testament. So the Bible here in the front, these are my front pockets. So now we go to the first compartment. I have uh, a warm head cap here, camouflage head cap. Notebook, because I like to journal, write down, take notes, so that's what that is. Pens, pencils, uh, different cards. So a lot of time I will throw my uh, iPad in here. I have an extra rechargeable battery that will recharge my iPad and my phone twice. So that's in the front compartment. So that takes care of that. So let me open the main compartment. So here I have the main compartment, my bug out bag opened up. Now keep in mind, this I also call my brother bug out bag because it's packed to where I can just take off at any time 24 seven and meet up with a brother in need, whether I jump on my motorcycle or in my truck. So I've got an extra set of gloves that is packed here. I have a head bandana, camouflage head bandana, and a ski mask. So that's for the motorcycle out in cold weather. So that is in there. Uh, camouflage thermal, thermal pants. 
and then a tactical overlay. So this tactical can serve as pants over the thermals or as a main pair of pants because it is waterproof. They are tactical. They have plenty of pockets like you would typically see in a uh, cargo pants. Pair of shorts for the summer. Thermal socks. Extra t-shirt. Extra pair of jeans. Sleep shorts. And of course, uh, several pairs of underwear. And then underneath here is my toiletries. So obviously you want to pack toiletries. They're going to be gone three days to a week. So that is stored in there. All my toiletries, some extra chapstick, uh, cough drops, eye drops, allergy, uh, some uh, Tums, things of that nature, toothbrush, toothpaste. So that is all in there in the main compartment here. So that is typically my primary bug out bag. And then next we'll go into the first aid bag so don't go anywhere we'll be right back so here i'm going to show my first aid kit so uh, my primary first aid kit that is attached on the front of my bug out bag so we're going to go ahead and get this guy opened up here so opening up the bag now a lot of these kits they come default uh, with a lot of things and some of these things you won't use or they're overkill so I took a few things out. I mean, they give you like three of these uh, Q-tips. I don't know why you need three of those. One should suffice. But I added additional Band-Aids, bandages um, of, of a variety, a sling, uh, soap wipes, gauze. I have my a lidocaine packed in there. That is a prescription uh, level, so you can't normally get that. But I have a prescription for that for some phantom pains from a previous accident. Uh, cotton balls, alcohol, pads, emergency contact information. Usually I have that emergency contact information. I call it ICE. I already have a card made up. That is usually in my motorcycle cut or uh, also in my wallet. And obviously it's in my phone. Some more uh, bandages, aspirin, wraps. So that's all in there. And we'll open up this smaller side here. Uh, these are actually gloves here, but I also put a couple swabs in there. Uh, safety pins, scissors, an extra knife tool here, multi-tool. Some more tape, electrical tape, bandage tape. So those items are packed here on this side. And then some additional tools, fire starter, tweezers, um, another flashlight. Some light up glow sticks. Those are packed in here. You can never get enough line. Paracord, so additional paracord here. It's actually a wristband too, so you can have that on your wrist. And let me open this compartment. It is an emergency thermal blanket uh, that's in here. Emergency poncho, rain poncho, and another compression pad here. So these are stored typically right here in my first aid main kit. So it should suffice most emergency situations, travel situations. And of course I have um, a larger, much larger first aid kit in my motorcycle saddlebag. And I even have another one in my glove box typically. So there you have it. That's a quick summary uh, run through of what's typically in my bug out bag. Now it's built to last at least three days to a week. Um, obviously I'd have more protein bars and things of that nature uh, that's packed in there, but typically that's for a week. Now that's not my primary tent camping hiker's bag. That's gonna be in another episode to where I'll walk through my primary tent camping hiker's bag. So it will have enough to take care of me out in the middle of the woods from two weeks to a month or more. So I'll share that along with my prepper tubs in a following video. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon to get notifications. And if you like any of my videos, make sure you comment, you like, and you share. So hey, look, while you're out here today, while you're going through this, make it a great day because you truly have a choice in making it a great day and always be proactive, be prepared, and may you launch each day with purpose, navigate with principles, and explore with passion.